The market capitalization of the coin is used to summarize all that is taught in this video. I would also like to remind you to give my channel a like and subscribe to it so that you can stay up to date on future XRP news, as well as other cryptocurrency news in general. You should now take a look at this XRP that is going to skyrocket as soon as CC is revealed. On the other hand, before we go any further, there is a brand new cryptocurrency airdrop that is currently taking place on Telegram and is set to start at any moment. I would ask that you make sure that you take part in this airdrop. Within the video's description is where you will find the link. Let's go with our video and make sure you don't miss out on this opportunity. In a recent update on X, a prominent cryptocurrency analyst by the name of Zach Rector examined the ongoing legal and market events that are related with XRP and the United States Securities and Exchange Commissions. In addition, he provided an update on X. A reform is being advocated for by the XRP community as a consequence of the publication of the controversial actions taken by the SEC and the consequent closing of its offices. It is clear to them that the regulator does not have any grounds to support his claim that Ripple is responsible for the problem. Following the sanctions that were imposed on the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC in the debt box case for the purpose of distorting evidence, which ultimately led to the closure of their offices in Salt Lake City, Rector said that the SEC has been subjected to a significant amount of scrutiny. T. He recent retirement of Gerber Gruhl, who had been serving as the Director of Enforcement for the Securities and Exchange Commission, has further added to the instability that has been occurring. In light of the significant role that Gruhl played in the SEC's legal operations against Ripple, the resignation of Gruhl signifies a significant shift in the organization. A fraud case that was launched against George Tenriro, who was the guy who signed the appeal against Ripple, was also brought to the attention of the audience by Rector. In a recent statement, Tom Emmer, the majority whip of the United States House of Representatives, referred to Gary Gensler, the chair of the Securities and Exchange Commission, as being lawless. In a lengthy speech that he made during a recent hearing, Emmer brought up the debt box case as one of the most significant failures that Gensler has faced. This follows the fact that the debt box case handed a huge blow to the Supreme Court. In addition, he mentioned a number of additional failures. An attempt to appeal by the SEC made. As a result of the recent appeal that the SEC filed against Ripple's partial court trial, this legal battle has become more heated than it was before. It is widely believed among the community that the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC is appealing some aspects of the ruling, including concerning Ripple's programmatic sales through intermediaries. Despite the fact that Judge Annalisa Torres found that sales of XRP to individual investors did not constitute securities transactions, this is still the correct interpretation of the situation. It is possible that the appeal would focus on the legality of these sales in order to reverse the ruling that was favorable to Ripple, as stated by Mark Fagel, who was a former attorney for the Securities and Exchange Commission. This has implications for the market as well as Ripple's response. Ripple's leadership continues to remain unyielding in their defense of the cryptocurrency despite this fax. A route poosing hack was performed by Ripple's chief executive officer, Brad Garlinghouse and chief legal officer, Stuart Alderode on the actions of the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC issue. An embarrassment for the agency, they have called the appeal as regrettable, but not surprising, and they have also described it as embarrassing. In the course of their statement, Ripple underlined their commitment to continuing the legal struggle and emphasized their confidence that they will ultimately emerge victorious. The Securities and Exchange Commission CC has filed an appeal, yet there is still a substantial probability that XRP may flourish. In order to alleviate the community's concerns regarding the appeal, Linda Peel. Jones, who has extensive experience working on Wall Street, has supplied them with valid arguments. The investors are certain that the performance of XRP will exceed the expectations that were set for it. A 16% decrease in the value of XRP can be attributed to the legal struggle that Ripple is now engaged in with the SEC. On the other hand, there are signals that are contradictory with regard to the prospective rise of XRP, which is currently trading at 71 cents and is currently trading between, between 48 cents and 62 cents. While the coin is seeing difficulty at 42 cents, it is experiencing support at that price. In spite of how compared to the 100-day moving average of $0.53, the 10-day moving average is $0.54, which is somewhat higher than the 100-day average. As of right now, the price momentum is not particularly outstanding. Given that Dockstick is currently trading at $0.44 and the relative strength index, according to Yarways, is approximately $0.43, it can be concluded that neither oversold nor overbought conditions are currently available. Over the course of the past week, the value of XRP has decreased by nearly 17%, although it has managed to accomplish a tiny growth on a monthly basis. If it is able to overcome the resistance at $0.71, it has the potential to hit $0.86, which would be a significant percentage improvement. However, the price going below $0.42 raises fears about a decline approaching $0.27. This is because the price has fallen below $0.42. Over the short run, however, XRP has less potential than other cryptocurrencies. Ripple is currently engaged in a legal fight with the Securities and Exchange Commission CC, which has directly resulted in a reduction of 16% in the value of XRP. 
Ripple is a very creative platform in the discipline of decentralized finance. When it comes to large investors, on the other hand, they are keeping a careful eye on a low-cost pre-sale token that is priced at just 35 cents and has the potential to provide significant rewards on their investment. In light of this, there has been a persuasive shift in the emphasis of the market, and the article will present readers with information regarding which cryptocurrencies are in a position to enjoy significant growth from this point forward. A number of distinct indications being present. At the moment, the price of XRP is fluctuating between 48 cents and 62 cents. At the same time, there are signs that contradict each other regarding the potential growth of the cryptocurrency. At 71 cents, the currency encounters resistance, while at 42 cents, it encounters support. That both of these points are significant in terms of the coin's price. Despite the fact that the moving average for the current 10-day period is 54 cents, which is considerably higher than the average for the 100-day period, which is 53 cents, the price momentum continues to be unimpressive. Despite the fact that the average over 100 days is significantly higher, this is the case. A stopcastic is currently at 44, and the relative strength index is sitting at 43, which causes one to conclude that neither oversold nor overbought conditions are currently existent. So, this is because the stopcastic is currently at 44. Despite the fact that the value of XRP has dropped by around 17 over the course of the previous week, it has managed to achieve a barely noticeable growth over the course of the month. In the event that it is able to overcome the resistance at 71 cents, which would constitute a substantial percentage increase, then it is highly probable that it will end up reaching 86 cents. Attaining this would be a significant accomplishment. On the other hand, the price falling below 42 cents increases concerns about a decrease that is getting closer to 27 cents. This is due to the fact that the price has decreased to less than 42 cents. Concluding remarks should be made in the immediate term. However, in comparison to other cryptocurrencies, XRP has a little lower potential. There is also the possibility that Ripple's plans to expand in the United States could be impacted if the sale of XRP to institutional investors were to be restricted. When the Securities and Exchange Commission CC files its Form C, which will include information regarding the appeal, investors are waiting for it. The key factor that continues to influence price patterns is speculation over the appeal strategy pursued by the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC and the court filing. If the Securities and Exchange Commission SE intends to appeal the judgment regarding programmatic sales of XRP, the price of XRP, the price of XRP may drop to approximately 40 cents. Okay. Due to the fact that it has the capacity to significantly impact the price patterns of XRP, investors should always keep a close eye on the most recent appeals that are worrying. In order to accurately forecast the price movements of XRP, it is essential to keep a close eye on the actions done by the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. The fact that XRP continues to trade below the exponential moving averages for both the 50-day and the 200-day timeframes is evidence that bearish price signals are being validated. In the event that the bulls are able to break out from the high of $0.05 that was reached on Friday, they may be able to make a run at the 200-day exponential moving average. A break over the 200-day exponential moving average EMA also indicates a move towards the 50-day EMA, as well as the resistance level of $0.57. This is because the 200-day EMA is a moving average. There are a number of significant considerations to take into account, including updates related to the litigation between the SEC and cryptocurrency. The information that has been supplied, on the other hand, is not meant to be taken as legal advice regarding trade. In the event that any investments are made on the basis of the information that is provided on this page, there is no responsibility for those investments. Prior to making any choice on investments, we strongly recommend performing independent research and talking with a professional who is educated in the field.